Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, we're going to show you the best phones under $200. Are you looking for a guide or a list for the best phones under $200 in 2023? Stay tuned because this video is for you. All right, so we are now, uh, <clears throat> we're using a website, androidcentral.com, uh, best Android phones under $200 in 2023. Um, so the best Android phones under $200 prove just how far uh, the tech Day has come in just a few short years. While everything else is getting more expensive, cheap smartphones are quickly becoming commonplace today. And now you can find dirt cheap devices with premium specs like uh, quad camera systems, massive uh, batteries, uh, and flagship level software support. So best overall smartphone under $200 is the Samsung Galaxy A13. Now it is uh, the reason to buy uh, is that it's a modern display with small bezels, large 5,000 milliampere battery, 15 watt fast charging, four years of software updates, Android 13 with Samsung's One UI, and expandable storage. Uh, reasons to avoid the cons is that no water or dust resistance and no 5G, so it doesn't carry 5G. So. Uh, today's best deals on Amazon would be, let's wait for it to load. Or this is Target. So we don't really know how much it is right now, but hey, uh, when you think of the best Samsung phones, your mind probably drifts to devices like the Galaxy S23, uh, which is a big, flashy, and expensive phone that just, you know, breaks your budget, you know, breaks the bank. However, if you're eager to own a Samsung phone for yourself, but need to, you know, cut costs, uh, the Galaxy A13 is a really good device to consider. Uh, note that this is a different phone than the Galaxy A13 5G, which is a more expensive phone. That model adds 5G, more RAM and storage and picks in, uh, you know, it has a faster processor. But the kicker is that the non 5G version of the Galaxy A13 is the one that highly recommended because it has a better display and cameras at 1080p plus it's more than twice the resolution of what offered the 5g version and it has a screen size of 6.6 .6 inches uh, this display is ideal for videos and other types of media around the back the a13 boasts a total of four cameras consisting of a 50 mp primary 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 mp macro and 2 mp de uh, depth sensors the image quality won't blow you away, but the cameras get the job done for social media and allow some image taking, especially with the ultra wide camera. So <clears throat> other highlights would be uh, expandable storage that helps make up for the, you know, three gigs of physical RAM by using Samsung's virtual RAM tech, uh, which essentially creates a RAM disk on your micro SD card. It also gets uh, a generous 5,000 milliampere battery, 15 watt fast charging, and Samsung's custom One UI software loaded with endless features and settings. So again, that is the best, you know, under $200 Samsung phone, Samsung Galaxy A13. Now the best unlocked phone is the Nokia G20. So the best, re the reasons to buy. So the pros: clean software with Android One, IPX2 splash proofing. It has a large 5,050 megaampere battery, bigger than the Samsung, quad cameras, and 128 gig storage, expandable up to 512 gigabytes. So the reason to not, you know, consider this is there is no fast charging. The processor is, you know, outdated, and it doesn't support all U.S. carriers, and it has low rest display. So. Um, none of the phones on this list are considered expensive, but if you're trying to spend your money on something reliable, the Nokia G20 is for you. Sitting towards the upper limit of $200, it's the best unlocked phone in this range at the end of the day. You can get a lot of value from every dollar spent on this model. So the Nokia G20 is equipped with a 6.52 inch IPS LCD that supports an HD plus resolution of 720 by 1600. It also it got a MediaTek processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and an impressive 120 gig expandable storage up to a, pretty much half a terabyte. But there's no fast charging. But that doesn't really, you know, warrant 
for you to not consider this thanks to it having a heavy duty battery. Uh, the Nokia G20 is powered by Android One, which means you will get two years of Android upgrades and three years of monthly security patches, which should get you through 2023. Uh, the phone shipped with Android 11 and recently got the Android 12 update. And yeah, that is the, the Nokia G20. Um, best display under 200 is a TCL 20 SE. Best display on a budget phone. So pros, large, beautiful display. Uh, it has 5,000 milliampers battery with 18 watt fast charging, robust internals. It has plenty of onboard storage and it has a rear mounted fingerprint reader. Uh, the cons, however, it lacks NFC. It has no IP rating and no more OS updates. So it may not have the most cutting edge specs, but don't you sleep on a TCL 20 SE uh, under $200. You won't find a more captivating de display that this phone has. It has almost seven inch display lcd panel the water drop notch looks a little dated but it's the entire package as a whole that bolsters the worth of this phone so the tcl gives you a nice deal along with all the screen in real estate you got a lot of memory with four gigs of ram and 128 gigs of storage that you get increased to 256. there's also a fingering scanner on the aesthetically pleasing backside of the phone the tcl 20 se has a generous 5000 milliampere cell that tops up quicker than any phone in this category, owing it to its uh, fast charging eight, 18 watt speed. So, uh, the best camera under two hundred dollars goes to Moto G Power. So it's Motorola. Uh, ex excellent battery life. The pros: expandable storage with a micro SD card, uh, great camera performance, and it has a large six point five inch display at ninety hertz. Uh, the cons, however, it's not five G. Uh, the phone can feel sluggish and its charging is not that fast. So uh, the Moto G Power, which is, you know, from last year, 2022, has the best camera in its class, delivering crisp, clear photos throughout the day and even at low light situations. It's no pixel, but it's certainly impressive for a phone under $200. Even the macro camera is impressive, something you'll almost never see in the, this price range letting you get super up close to objects for some interesting grammable imagery. It, it's, it also has fantastic battery life because we have the 5,000 uh, milliampere, right? Uh, the, but the kicker is that to achieve this kind of battery life, Motorola went with an incredibly weak MediaTek processor in the Moto G Power. Simply put, if a sluggish UI and lag with switching between apps is a deal breaker for you, then consider another phone. All right, so... Best durability, last one that goes to Blackview BV4900. 40, uh, reasons to buy military grade durability rating, IP68 dust water protection, gigantic 55-80 milliampere battery, USB-C and NFC, and it's very affordable. Reasons to avoid, no fingerprint sensor, which is not a deal breaker for a lot of people. Android 10 with no updates, that's a huge one. Chunky and heavy with funky design. So putting a case on the phone is an excellent way to ensure it's it stays safe throughout your daily use. But some phones were designed to be rugged and durable. And this is one that tops the chart for the price range. The design of this phone makes it ruggedness unmistakable and it has durability ratings to back it up. Not only is there an IP68 dust water resistance rating, but you also get a MIL STD 810G certification. This means this phone has been tested to survive drops up to five feet. So if you're a bit, if you're a little bit clumsy, this might be the phone for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and the bell icon. We'll see you on the next one.